It's Real Fit Radio with B and J. L. O. U. If this is your first time listening, welcome. And if you're a returning listener, welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. People do not decide their futures, they decide their habits, and their habits decide their futures. Quote came from a guy named Frederick Alexander. I've lived that before. It's hard replacing old habits. Old habits die hard. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. I mean, we always talk about that. You don't replace whatever habit you're trying to get rid of with another one. It'll come back. Yeah. And thus, the quote, that is who you are. It dictates your future as you're a slave to the habit. Right. And doing it for so long, like you don't know how to do something else or you don't even realize you're doing it like, dang, I'm just doing it. That sucks. (laughs) (laughs) You got to have the will and the implementation of something new reprogramming huh oh yeah take some time didn't have to reprogram in the matrix yep took him a while to actually buy into what they were trying to get him to understand because of what he had already been accustomed to for those of you who don't know we may have mentioned it lou is a matrix fan matrix 4 is dropping in december i know you'll be there somewhere (laughs) i might be in the matrix (laughs) okay without further ado We're going to jump into the meat and potatoes of this podcast before Lou gets lost in the matrix. I don't want you to go when I have to do this by myself. (laughs) I don't even know you might be going. A lot of stuff is happening, which rolls right into our topic, transparency and TMI. And for those of you who don't know what TMI means, too much information. I think sometimes people get the the two mixed up where you're like, oh, whoa, I didn't need to know that. And they kind of want to overwhelm you with it so that you don't inquire or you're never bothered by (laughs) their curiosity. Like, let me just overload you with TMI and you just steer clear of asking me about anything in my life or what's going on with this project, that project or whatever. I've had that happen before. So that's what made me think about the two being crossed or somebody maybe intentionally TMI me to death. And I don't even want to know anything. I'm just trying to avoid conversation altogether. But transparency, I think, needs to happen more often because it'll assist um, with a stronger communication and also giving an individual an idea of what's happening in a person's everyday life, maybe a particular situation, any of that stuff. I just thought it'd be something good to talk about because uh, I've been a recipient of the TMI. And then when someone says, let me just be transparent, I've been hit so heavily with the TMI. It's like, I don't even want you to be or a person is not being transparent at all, which can leave someone to assumption and communication shut down, all that stuff. So when do you think it's, oh, they're just being transparent. I can appreciate that or thank you for the heads up or you should have kept that to yourself. Hmm. I think I have issues with both of those because I don't necessarily know all the time when I'm supposed to give information up where I'm thinking it's TMI or the flip side where it's like, oh, I'm being transparent. So, uh, yeah, it can be confusing to a degree, but I think how you clear that up is communication in terms of whoever it is that you have in this discussion with that y'all have a a clear understanding of (laughs) what's too much information and what's not. I know case in point, it's been a couple of times where we um we've had discussions in here, me and you, where you'll be saying something and I and I'll respond and I'll just I don't know where put some information that didn't even need to be there and then it caused like a ripple in the conversation. I'm trying to think of something that we had a conversation on where it was like so I it'll make even more sense. Well, I think for you, it's really not TMI. It's additional information. That's I know you're going mean. to probably that is say. considered too much information. To oh, me. so this is even better yeah, for the discussion. I mean. It's too much information, meaning like you didn't need to know all that you because it had nothing to do with anything or it didn't help the situation. It actually hindered it. OK, well, the way I view it, TMI for me is, whoa, that was a lot. You might be talking to somebody and they say, yeah, man, I've been having some ailments with my my knee. And it's like, oh, yeah, you know, I get headaches sometimes. And you're like, 
Yeah, I was having this piece of meat hanging from my butt. And I'm thinking, I mean, I, the age I'm at, can you get a hemorrhoid? And the person's like, whoa, 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 TMI. That's how I look at TMI, where it's just like, I did not, we didn't, we didn't have to go there. I don't think I needed to know that. For you, when you're saying, you know, I went to the store, that's not TMI. I think it's just like you, you'll insert some extra things. And I'm like, I don't want to know about that. Boy, but but that is your TMI. TMI. I got you. Because the thing what you're talking about is that would be equivalent to having, like I said, that communication of knowing what information need to be told to somebody. Uh, and that depends on the relationship you have with that person. Like that shit you said about the meat anger from the butthole. And all that. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't think you would be telling some of your friends or your peers, your coworkers about some shit like that. You don't That's think that you, I said, I don't think I know you probably do. <laughs> oh yeah. But I'm saying that that's something where I think you tell that or disclose that type of information based off the relationship you have with whoever you are having that discussion with. And most times that can be cured through communication and understanding boundaries and stuff. And also having a little bit of common sense on what you want to withhold and what you don't. But I know common sense ain't so common. Oh, yeah. I wanted to make sure I wasn't cutting you off. No, I pause. Oh, OK. You pause for me or pause? No, I'm done. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, f- for me specifically, and I just kind of gave a few examples there. I just get hit sometimes with the TMI where it's just like, I didn't, I didn't really want to know all that because one conversation leads to another. And these are with individuals where you said you would think, you, you know, wait a minute, we, uh, this is a stranger or this is somebody that, you know, this is a work relationship where People become very comfortable maybe after a few glasses of wine and that I give a pass on because sometimes it's just like they they haven't been able to talk about it. And you're like, oh, this is TMI. But you do understand that they feel a little more comfortable and the truth, the, what they call it, the truth serum. Yeah. You know, they, they just kind of talking. So I, I get, get exactly I get I get that part. But knowing the difference between the two and not mixing them up or or you having somebody wait a minute hold hold it stop i don't want to go there with you i think that's important because sometimes you can allow yourself to get dumped on under the false guise of transparency and a person is just giving you tmi you're sitting there and cringing and you don't want to be in that position so everybody has their limits some people can sit and probably listen to (laughs) some things I, i i wouldn't But transparency for me is really important for people to have so that they're on the same page. And I think sometimes people will confuse that's too much information to be given. I I don't need to let somebody know that I'm feeling that type of way. I don't need to let somebody know that I'm dealing with, you know, uh, some health issues. You know, it'll go away. But indirectly, it's affecting how you interact with them. I don't need to let somebody know what's going on with my finances, but they snap at you when you ask if they're going to happy hour or somewhere. And it's like, well, where did that come from? That's not a TMI. That's a transparency conversation that needs to be had. If that's somebody you're cool with or you value whatever type of relationship you have or you just value them as a person. I'm feeling funky about my finances. This has nothing to do with them. And and I'm putting it under. That's too much information for them to know that my money's not right. But when they shoot me, you know, a a text message or an email or they come and say, hey, I haven't seen you at happy hour. You you know, you're usually over there. What's going on? Missed you. Uh, I wasn't there. You know, it's, it's like you don't have to do that either. You don't have to have that conversation if you feel like that is too much information and you don't want to be transparent, but you can't be nasty, too. You get what I mean? No, I get it. So and in relationships as well. People can't read each other's minds. So what you feel like is TMI or you just feel like I'm not I'm not putting out on a person. You need to have a level of transparency, which may include for you, which is is too much TMI, you know, too much TMI. It's, It's TMI because you just don't want to give up that kind of information or you feel very vulnerable or you feel exposed, but still in doing that, it puts you at a better place with the individual so that there's no assumption. There's not, 
you know, one person doing one thing, the other person, well, I thought you had an attitude. Well, I don't know why she had an attitude. I don't know what was going on. Well, I figured you was doing this. It's like, no, let's be transparent in, in some some form. It doesn't have to be where you're revealing everything. But if you say, you know, I've been, for instance, if it's an issue, like for, for me, this is a transparency. I have recently, and I've had spot bout, you know, bouts with headaches, random ones. If I didn't tell Lou that I was dealing with headaches and I was walking around here grimacing in pain and he's like, what's up with you? You look kind of, I'm good. I'm good. Stop asking me that. Stop asking me that. Okay. You know, Hey, you want to go to the movies? I just don't want to. He could begin to assume all kinds of things. And I'm over here saying, I don't want to bother him and you know, let him know I'm having his headaches and stuff because he might get worried and he's got his own stuff he's dealing with and it may affect his creativity when in actuality, the whole energy I'm giving off and and my, you know, my change in behavior could put him in a whole nother place, which is still affecting his creativity, affecting, you know, how our relationship is and everything else. I have to be open and be transparent, which may require me giving up, you know, what I think is TMI. He doesn't need to know about my ailments, but I, I I do need to do it. And that's just an example for, you know, just for us. But I think that first valuing the individual enough to start thinking about, should I be transparent? Is this, you know, you know, TMI? Is it too much information here? Or saying I'm willing to give up some of this information and be vulnerable because of how much, you know, I want us to stay on the right track. So I'm going to be transparent, which may include me having to reveal some things that I don't want to, you know, but I, I need to in order for us to keep the lines of communication open and continue to grow. And as we always see, have the best relationship, be the best version of ourselves and so on and so forth. And now a quick moment from our sponsor, Journey of a Legend. You, yeah, you, what's your passion, purpose, every day you try, you succeed, the time is now, journey of a legend, it starts with you. If you want to learn more or purchase merchandise, go to www.journeyofalegend.com. So that's what my that's what my take is on just transparency or is it, you know, TMI. Make the distinction or be bold and say, I'm going to give up in, in me being transparent. Some things that may be considered too much information for me and maybe for them. You can preface it and say, hey, I'm, I want to be real transparent with you. And in that, it may be a little you know, whoa, but I'm, I'm doing my best to, to let you know what's going on so that we can be on the same page and there's no mixed signals or miscommunication or assumptions. And and we end up, you know, further from our goal of being, you know, in good relationship, whether it's friendship, family, marriage, co-workers, business partners, whatever it is. Well, yeah, I have my, my fair share of bouts with the whole transparency and understanding what to talk about and what not to talk about. Only thing I can really say in that is it, it is beneficial to do it mainly because one, people know exactly what it is. There's no assumptions that's needed because you know where the person is standing, um, what they feeling. And it's like, oh, OK, well, they got an attitude and it has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with that. And that, OK, we can try to work this out. Not maybe I can be of assistance somehow. The other part is you get to see what people stand at, which what I mean by that is whatever it is that you're being transparent about. After you said what you said, you get to see how that person move after they know that information. If they rock with you a certain way, because after that, after what's being said, do they still, you know, act the same or do they back up? Either way, people know what it is and it's nothing that can, uh, you know, be assumed there because they have that information. The other part I'd say is it's another way of like, for example, I know you said earlier about or an idea as well, talking about it really depends on the relationship with the person on what's considered TMI or 
transparent. If it's something like what you was talking about, uh, oh, man, I haven't seen you at happy hour, or whatever the case may be, or uh, and you having a financial issue, or if you tell somebody it's too much information, <laughs> the <laughs> the meat hanging out your butt type thing, whatever, you can say something in your own words to where you're not giving up so much information. Like somebody's like, man, you good? What's wrong with you? It's like, man, nah, I just got this ailment that's really kicking my ass. <laughs> no pun intended, but. Therefore, you just gave some information up. Somebody asked you what's wrong with you. You didn't say it was nothing. You said it was an ailment, even though it's some piece of meat hanging out your butt. You didn't have to say all that. You just said it's an ailment that's really kicking my ass or something that's a a health issue. You gave them just enough to where it's like they understand what's going on. It doesn't mean that you have an attitude and you were being transparent that you're not okay. But you didn't give up so much to where it's like, whoa, bro, I hate that I even asked you. So it's ways around um, someone asking something where you can be direct and letting them know what's going on, but not giving up so much to where it's like that's somebody you wouldn't share that with. At the end of the day, like I say repeatedly, it's up to the individual. It's really no right or wrong way. It's only if you choose to. To not be transparent, to not to not, you know, give up too much information. You just do nothing at all. That's when it's like, this is why, you know. I agree in the spirit of transparency and TMI, we have had a discussion as of recent, um, just preparing to go into 2022, uh, putting things on calendar for it and wrapping up everything for 2021. I don't like to say all good things come to an end because I don't believe in endings when your goal overall, such as ours is to inspire, to impact and empower you. It'll be through different vehicles, real fit radio being one of them. I decided I wanted to do a podcast and have open, transparent conversations on the fly it's like if someone just put a mic up, um, out and we talked openly for you guys to hear it in that idea and Lou being on board and supportive as he always is. We threw ourselves into um, committing to we're going to drop every Monday. We're going to figure out how to edit. We're going to figure out how to, you know, upload correctly. Hopefully, you know, uh, things come out on the right end with the sound. We don't know. We didn't know. Not we don't. And we still don't. We've gotten better. But we don't we don't. And we didn't know anything. I didn't for sure about recording and editing and doing conversations with the mic on and not saying things where you like, wait a minute, that might be too much. So we do we do have to cut out stuff sometimes because it is TMI. We have to make the decision. Is it TMI or are we being authentic and sticking to us being transparent and giving as much of ourselves as we can and hopeful in hopes that it would assist in empowering, inspiring or impacting um, anyone that listens, even if it's one person, that's our goal. So in, in revisiting that conversation and seeing where that fits in the calendar of 2022 and new opportunities that have presented themselves individually, purpose wise for Lou and his music and me and creative consulting. And then we have two other people in the house, our kids. We we thought it'd be best to go ahead and wrap up Real Fit while it's still on point where we're consistently uploading and we're fresh and we don't begin to pull ourselves in so many different areas that it begins to lack the attention. We start to miss deadlines or we're giving lackluster effort because we're just exhausted from trying to fulfill the goals and deadlines of the other great opportunities that have come our way that we know we're going to have to give a hundred percent as we have given a hundred percent to real fit. There are times that we have recorded and uploaded in the same day. And for someone that's really good in this area, they're like, Oh, that's nothing. But again, we, in addition to our lives, this was a thought and we just said, let's do it. And we've done the best we can from making sure we're on the platforms, uh, setting up an email, being available. You know, if there's something that needs to be changed, let's make time. We have to make time, even if we're like, how? How are we going to do this? 
taking five hour energies and working into the next day and still taking care of the other things while we have other entrepreneurial irons in the fire. So with all that, again, that's the TMI maybe for some people, but I feel like it needs to be said because in the spirit of real fit, if we just said, hey, we decided this, th- we're going to wrap at the end of this year. I just, I just thought it'd be best to be transparent and to, to let you guys know about the different things that have been going on. Nothing bad. It's just time when stuff like that, when you start having to differentiate between, well, maybe we shouldn't drop on Monday or maybe we should scale it back and do it once a month or maybe we should. I I just sat with it for a while and I feel like let's just go ahead and, and wrap it up at the end of 2021. So our last episode will be on or segment podcast segment will be on December 27th. We'll go ahead and wrap and Everything that we've done is available. It'll be there. It's like uh, you can access the records. What do they say, babe, when you can go like it's in the library? Yeah, catalog. <laughs> right. And hopefully, you know, it's there to do exactly, not hopefully, it is there to do exactly what it was set up to do. And we hope that it does just that with whomever comes across it. So the countdown begins as of this uh, segment. Um, going forward, we'll have six more segments and our last one again will be December 27th. And so that'll be interesting and exciting. And um, again, we have some exciting new entrepreneurial endeavors and opportunities that have presented themselves to us that we are ready to tackle and just so many blessings and things that we have in store rolling into 2022. So wanted to let you know that anything, Lou, you got anything to add? No, I think you wrapped it up pretty good. And all these start and stops we had, if you guys could see it, we had to stop about three or four times <laughs> right now. Just sometimes the uh, laptops will cut off, that kind of crazy stuff. We have become little baby engineers. We're not, you know, doing what other people were. This is their field. But I think we did really good with what we've had thus far. No, we did. We we took a skill set that we were burying and enhanced it. What more could you ask for? Oh, yeah. So we're going to get this out to you guys. This is another one of those days where we we thought we had a couple of um segments in the vault and we didn't have one to edit. We actually did our last one and didn't realize it. So we are recording today and we're going to edit this today so that it drops tomorrow. So it's Sunday. We'll get this out Monday as promised. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, can't say suggested topics. You can suggest some, but we've got six more <laughs> to go. Um, you can shoot us an email at realfitradio at gmail.com. Our podcast drops every Monday. You can catch a snippet of any of our latest that are on our Instagram at Real Fit Radio. If you're not following us, you definitely should be. As always, we hope this inspired, impacted, or empowered someone. Until next time.